So continuing on with the React Native series, I want to talk about platform-specific styles and components. So how do we make something work only on one particular platform, or how do we make something work differently depending on whether it's iOS or Android? So there is a platform component or platform object that we can import from React. With that class, we can make things happen with just one operating system or make things happen different with different operating systems. I'm starting out with the same code that I used for my geolocation video. Uh, I just stripped out a little bit of the text inside of here. Now I'm going to start with showing how we can do something different with the styles. We'll come down here into the style sheet object and inside of container we're going to call platform.select. Now this method will accept an object and inside the object what we're going to do is set up something that is iOS and something else that is Android. So we have these two objects inside of here. Now this method is going to return one of these two things. So one of these two objects is going to be passed back up to here. Now inside of container I don't want objects, I want individual properties. So to get that what we have to do is some destructuring. We need to break apart all the bits and pieces that are inside of here. Inside of these objects we can put any styles that we want. So we could, let's just do background color. That's a simple enough example. If we're on iOS, we're going to make it gold. If we're on Android, then we'll take that badass green. There we go. So I'll save that. And there we go. Now, because we're on the iOS simulator, I'm getting gold as the background color. If I had the Android emulator running, I'd be getting green as the color. All right. Now, just to show that it's not only loading just the first one. We can say change that. There we go. Now it's loading the green instead. So we can do any styles that we want. It doesn't just have to be background color. It can be any CSS styles that we want. All right. Now moving up into the object, looking at some other properties. Let's create a couple of text fields here. Make sure they're capitalized properly. And inside of these, we're going to write out from the platform object, I'm going to put OS, and then I'm going to write out the version. These are two built in properties that we get. And I'll make these a little bit larger so that we can actually see them. So styles.medium, that's one of my other styles, just to bump up the font size. This isn't a keyword or anything, it's just something I have defined in the styles down at the bottom of the page. Okay, there we are. So iOS and 12.0. This is the operating system, and this is the version. This is a string, but we can take it and we can do parse int or parse float and we can extract the bits and pieces. So you can write this out as text here, or you can even use it up inside your code, like up inside the component did mount. We can come up inside of here, and we'll declare a variable, and we can do parse int. Let's just get that 12 portion of the number. So parse int of platform dot version. Now we have that number, 12 and we can use it inside of our code here. It's just something like that. There we go. So we have this variable coming from platform.version using it inside of our code. Now, these are all fairly simple examples. Something that you're more likely to do is actually want to create a component and use a component and have that be a different component depending on the operating system. So let's try that. Let's create a component inside of here. We'll call it thing. And this component is going to be loaded, placed on the screen, right in between these two lines right here. 
So we need to define it. We can do it on a separate page. We can do it inside this page. I'm going to do it right inside of here. We've imported platform so we can call its select method at any point. Now inside of here, just like we did down in the styles, we're going to have one of these two objects returned. Now here, we don't need to use the spread operator. We don't have to do destructuring here. It's not the things inside. It's the whole object that we want returned. So iOS will be calling a function like that. And then we're going to do the same thing with Android. We're going to set it equal to the return value from a function. These will only return one of them. Select will give us either the iOS or the Android. In the case of our app running right here, it's going to be the iOS copy that comes back. The iOS is going to return whatever this is. So instead of putting curly braces, I can create a text field like that. And inside of here, I'm just going to put iOS all in caps. And I'll do the same thing down here, but I'll make this one say Android. Okay, there it is right there, iOS. So that's being written inside the default font size, so it looks pretty tiny. Now, if I come up here and I add the styles, this is important to note. If I come in and I say styles, I've got to spell styles correctly. There we go, styles.big. Nothing happens, nothing changes. That's because thing is something being created down here. This isn't an element that's being placed on the screen and then having styles applied to it. This becomes a prop that's being passed down to here. I don't want that. I want it to actually appear inside of this. This is where I need the style is when this thing comes back. And there we have it. There's the styles.big being applied, the large font size being applied to this element. Now, props, I had mentioned, we can pass props. So let's say we have a message that says this. This is a prop now. So if I'm sending props, I need to send props to the function that's going to be generating the element. So there we go. There's props being passed in. Now I can use these. inside what I'm returning. Just like that. Just like I would in any other component. And there we have it. So we have a custom component that's using props that is writing out part of the message inside of here, the component that's being generated based on the platform. And then we can also pass in props so that they're all using the same data. Styles have to be used inside the components that are returned, not up here. It's just like if I was loading a component. Let's say I had a component called menu that I was loading from some other screen. I can't put the styles on it here and have them rendered. It's in the other page that they get rendered. So that's not going to work with styles. And then down to styles. Don't forget to do the spread operator so that you destructure this. And it's the contents of these things. So if I had another property here, font size 12, so really, really, really tiny font is the default for the page. All right, and that's it. So that is platform, the platform object, and how to use it for all these different things coming up with platform-specific styles and code. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. If you find this useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.